Why, hello there. I bet you didn't expect a video on this channel ever again, huh? Too bad. Welcome and to, welcome to my reaction to Helldivers 2 review, triple the defense budget, starship bloopers. I kinda I kinda got bored, so I'm gonna record a few videos here and release them. Well, that's why I record them. And I'm gonna start with this one because someone wants me to watch it, in case maybe I will change my mind on playing Helldivers 2. Because I just I don't wanna play it, I don't think it's for me. And that's about it. Let's start, shall we? Maybe I will, who knows? This video contains uh, many certifiable thought crimes. Helldivers 2 is an amazing right. co-op shooter that plays exactly like No Man's Sky. Except instead of exploring the cosmos, you uh, die horribly in the psalm. Every copy of Helldivers 2 is, uh, it is personalized. Joel wanted me to fight 10,000 fire ants. In a universe where humanity is beset on all sides by curious wildlife and the... Actual Terminators, Super Curious Earth, wildlife, the galaxy's yeah. last and only bastion of managed democracy. I remember seeing this its finest men, two women, years ago, and whatever children it came over seven out. to liberate and spread freedom to the most horrifying hellscapes known to man, where war crimes are not only justified but are necessary. We play as the Helldivers, okay, this... humanity's finest in emancipation and friendly. I remember the last Max Source video was but, uh, overrated to no shit. To worry about that last this one is much better. We are incredibly expendable. All across the galaxy, Liberty's enemies march ever closer. But through the power of teamwork, friendship, and 500 kilogram bombs, we will fight Hell for yeah. freedom, for democracy, and most importantly, because it's really funny. Dudes be like, and there's gonna be a to his military Earth defense force. My brother in Christ, it worked. Triple the defense budget. I think the actual fog that it's specifically a co-op shooter throws me off. The first thing you'll notice upon entering the SES Judge of Judgment is the incredibly oh. stupid name. And yes, you are able to name it other things using the Wizard 101 naming scheme. Things like the Pride of Pride, Star of the Stars, Patriot of Patriotism, and my personal favorite, the Founding Father of Family Values, because this uh. game has a lot of violence and movies. Oh, here you see me depicted as the Soy Wojak. The second thing you'll notice upon entering the bridge is the ongoing galactic war, and that we are currently fucking losing the galactic war, which is why we need to suit up oh, with exactly three of our friends and choose which planet is in vital need of the democratic process. If you don't have any friends, then uh, need of it. I hope you can speak good Mandarin. I think I did something to make him mad. But to win the Galactic War, we, we must first understand the Galactic missile. War. We can ill afford another Malevolent Creek. Which is why I'm going to go over each of the two fronts that are currently reducing us to smears across the galaxy. And uh, I'm going to do it at difficulty 7 or above, which is coincidentally the perfect enlistment age. On the left turn side of the political spectrum, we have the Automaton Front, an mm. enemy focusing on range tactics, yeah, I know heavy bugs armor in slight excess, and an extremely high amount of explosive ordnance. And I don't know if Illuminati came out, out or not. If that sounds a little not bit intimidating, not a point of don't the worry. Release, I, know. I haven't even gotten to the horde of angry chainsaws yet. Chainsaw Man reference goes in the video here. But talking about the Automaton Front is this never is complete wolf. without talking the chainsaw about man reference. the fucking creek. Or, as it is known by our honored veterans, Space Vietnam. This goddamn planet has been single-handedly responsible for yeah, most before. of our casualties. <laughs> My leg! Is this SpongeBob? And that is genuinely impressive, considering that uh, 10 million men have already died in the Battle of the Madagascar Lemur. Those are considered rookie Lord, numbers, yeah. and we're already outpacing the Taiping Rebellion. In fact, every single military operation we conduct is in a, some way related to Malevolon Creek. And personally, I don't really see what all the hype is about. After all, it's just one planet. How important could one planet possibly be? I am a human supremacist! I, I am a human supremacist! Our supremacy will not end on this planet! I am a human! We will go interdimensional, we will unlock... 
unlock the secrets of the universe. God has Good laid little. it out like Christmas presents for his children. Bootcamp's got fucking weird recently. <laughs> Malevolon Creek and by extension, the rest of the front is essentially an exercise in how much PTSD one man can possibly get. Their firepower is so overwhelming, so absolutely constant, that describing it as an endless retreat where you accidentally accomplish all of your objectives would be very generous, as it implies that I do the objectives. Fucking shit. This can occasionally push you into what we call a unfortunate tactical positions, at which point your main options for survival are going to be uh, watching your slower friends get burned to death in the make-off. I will never unhear that scream. So yes, this planet may be what economists call a bad use of our human capital, but after dealing with several days of what I can only describe as angry forklift decommissioning. Oh shit, this motherfucker's not OSHA certified. You really need a step ladder for that, sir. Okay, call me crazy, but I think there's a turret around this corner, guys. I fucking hate the creek. I can safely say that the attachment has become fucking personal. And honestly, I just want to see how many bodies one planet can hold. We lost Vietnam, we lost Afghanistan, and yes, we definitely lost America. So goddammit, I am not going to lose this shit to ones and zeros. God gave this galaxy to a non-binary species, and service guarantees gender affirmation. Uh, fun facts about the bot front. Number 10, man urinates on fellow passenger for not being allowed to smoke. Number 9, if you happen to make the mistake of fighting here, you're quickly going to realize that most of our forces are Chinese, each one taking glorious revenge against the steel plants they work in. Very auspicious behavior. And I conversely, see. we Guaylo have okay. been sent by our barbarian prince to fight the hordes of angry roaches, for it is the God-given right of the defense lobby to remind the bugs that it is man who was made in God's image. Really can't wait to die on fucking, uh, Didn't know. legally distinct Clendathu. The terminated front, sorry, the turbinated population problem is a wide assortment of increasingly horrifying demons, each one abandoned by their creators in completely different ways. Uh, my, my guy's got a bad case of the rigor mortis. We've got small bugs, big bugs, immortal bugs, bugs that function as artillery, and of course, that makes sense. the bugs Immortal that stalk bugs? you at night. Thankfully for us though, Napalm is an equal opportunity employer, and uh, a lot of positions are open right now. That is to say, once you start fighting the bugs, you do not stop for about 40 minutes or so. Because, uh, they just spawned a battalion from the ground like the goddamn Viet Cong for the third time in a row. I mean, it seems you, I do not have like you came to their shit. planet. Good fucking throw, dude. I, I just want to walk to the McDonald's, guys. I'm just a I mean, level one goblin. It's sorry, American. my birthday. I'm a little birthday Come boy. to their place. And do you want to know the worst part about this war? We, uh, don't really know how they move between planets. And I don't think they have what you would call a plan. Rather, the Terminids simply appear in places they wish to eviscerate. Kind of like a Whole Foods. So, uh, Is you can imagine my shock when I learned that those white bitches are trying to gentrify the moon. They are ruining the amazing local oh, no, culture of, uh, California. I hope it's becoming obvious that fighting these things under normal circumstances is what we call, uh, same-day shipping to God. <laughs> what the fuck? Fortunately for us, though, we have access to a wide variety of unique and hilarious tools, which are only accessible via inputting a series of hand signs, informally known as airstrike jutsu. Whether it's big airstrikes, bigger airstrikes, biggest airstrike the engine can sustain, or airstrikes that specialize in killing everything except the enemy, there are so many bad guys with so much damage to be done that the most challenging part is keeping your team out of the blast radius. I, got five I don't think that's possible. What have you fucking done? And yes, you do have to throw them, which means you can drop them, throw the wrong asset, and even attach them to enemies that are running into you. My okay. personal favorite combination is definitely the napalm and chlorine gas for when you really, really want your enemies to feel pain inside and out. We also offer a gluten-free variety. Now, of course, airstrikes aren't the only thing we can deliver, just oh. most of them, because here oh. at the Defense Department, we take care to provide, to, to provide, to provide, why can't I say words? A wide array of support tools, and by support tools, I mean the machine gun, which are crucial and necessary for fighting a 
literally anything. I mean, yeah. We've got flamethrowers, jetpacks, automatic lasers that demand human sacrifice. You haven't tried talking to them, but pushing on worse, I guess. American police taser with unlimited ammo, automatic targeting, and a vendetta against teammates. For when you really hate everything in a general direction, rail guns that encourage you to fire volleys like Napoleonic line infantry. It also has two fire modes called safe mode and unsafe mode. And of course, the... Oh. Uh, Giant death robots that randomly explode sometimes. What? <laughs> what? That is the last time I buy a fucking Tesla. <laughs> My uh, personal favorite strategy involves oh, everyone they living there next to the uh, designated that? disabled man who will Jojo proceed reference. to stay inside of six different wheelchairs family guy. for 40 oh. minutes. And as a caveat, we force him to crawl on the ground between mechs for immersion reasons. <laughs> But honestly, all of these fantastic tools absolutely pale in comparison to the fast and convenient resupply of GamerSup's energy drinks, mm. here to give you a fantastic boost to your gaming abilities, which, if you want to win this battle, I will now expect of you. We in the Chinese are so the not going to be taking back Osto 2 on 8 hours of sleep, Why not, but uh, they did also release a sleep aid. In case somebody gives you too much energy, <laughs> how am I getting away with this shit? Gamer Subs comes in many different flavors, such as Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000, yeah, the Grandpa's one. Ashes, and uh, good. It's a, oh. uh, it's just good. Well, All at the low price of 40 cents milk or per whatever it looks like. Come. Which is literally cheaper than the dirt I am dying over. I uh, went to Amazon and checked. So if you are still watching this video somehow, and uh, God bless you if you are, you can have gamer stuff Dragon, delivered Dragon with 10% off back. by opening the Whatever. description and clicking the special stratagem code. What else do we have? Uh, uh, we have sentry guns, in case you really don't want to play the game, as well as a strange amount of primaries play that as engineer from are child safe. Team. Can't wait for the devs to nerf this one and say some shit like, Sorry, Helldivers. Command sent us Rigatoni instead of Railgun shells. Now, uh, in this kind of environment with this many fireworks, casualties are not just expected. I love the panic they in their voice. You, uh, don't really get to 12 million by being an easy game, which is why, upon the occurrence of my teammate's tragic passing, I will gain the ability to replace my friends with a legally distinct Helldiver, ready to fight and die for the worst planets you have ever seen. Like my brother in Christ, you are fighting over the Arizona Ice Tea world. Missions in this game are usually comprised of exploring new and fantastic worlds, and then building a Walmart supercenter on them. Local residents be damned. To that end, we have a great diversity of missions. Like rescuing civilians who move their heads like confused avians. Like yeah, that chicken. does look like that. Spreading industrial amounts of carcinogenic gas and launching the fucking nuclear missile. We did it, Patrick. We saved Distanu, along with a myriad of side objectives, which usually boil down to uh, killing everything that moves, and occasionally loading a gun that will do it for you. We uh, don't really talk about the eradicate missions because they tend to play themselves, all in service to liberate a planet by an astounding 0.0003%. This isn't nice. a fucking charity, all right? Reach 100% liberation and lose all of it the very next day. I am I'm guessing the percent you do is varies between how many people Hellfire. play the game daily. Planets and Helldivers also have a unique Very blend of beautiful environments. Like the Heaven Planet, where it is impossible to escape God's the light. Hell. The Constant Meteor Storm Planet, where it is illegal to stand still. The Fire Tornado Planet. The uh, weird fucking animal planet. Hell yeah. I'm going to call you a... Uh, Genghis Shingles Ringer, and the planet that, That's before fair. it was removed from the game, randomized your airstrikes, which made the process of calling a resupply much more interesting. Please put this back in the game. Yeah, that, that Look, sounds pretty cool. That gives you a lot of tools, and a lot of places to use them. So honestly, the task of describing it all to you is, uh, not my fucking job. The developers are literally adding things faster than I can show them to you. I uh, began making this video before mechs existed, so inevitably, when the, the day way comes you that make Arrowhead videos, adds the yeah. secret third faction that we uh, don't legally know anything about, I guess I'll be making a video about it. As long as this one gets views. Overall, Helldivers 2 is an I absolute this video got chaotic views. mess, where every mission begins and ends with the assumption that we are not going to make it. And yet, somehow, some way, I still find a way to disappoint my friends. Some may consider it right. difficult, while others may consider it fucking bullshit. But personally, surviving against all odds in the face of complete, absolute absurdity is a big reason that I still love this game.
no matter how many game-breaking bugs they introduce. Uh, sorry, Helldivers. This gun's accuracy rating is so high that it causes integer overflow. And with the Galactic it's so War still ongoing, our story of spreading managed democracy has only just begun. We have the ships. We have the weapons. We need soldiers. Soldiers like the uh, angry Chinese guy. Service guarantees affordable health. Soldiers like the uh, angry Chinese guy. Service guarantees affordable. That kind of so a couple of words sounded Russian, but I can't make them out, make more of the words out. And it's faster than normal Russian speech would have been. I just I get confused. soldiers like the uh, angry Chinese guy. Service guarantees yeah, affordable could be Chinese. healthcare. I don't know. I can't they'll talk. keep fighting and they'll win. A couple of words as sounded like Russian swear words, but it would be coincidence. On a more personal note, the Ministry of Truth extends its gratitude to all of its very kind patrons, enabling and Jungu. financing our propaganda on a truly galactic scale. Your money is being put to excellent use, making only the funniest and most original content. Anyways, uh, time to report to my execution now. All right. Great video. I love that it was not as heavily edited as the Baldur's Gate one was. Right? That was the last one. It's the old Baldur's Gate. Yeah. That was kind of... I was over the top. Oh, well, all of them are over the top, but that was overkill, I think. And I did not change my mind. I don't... It seems fun. I can see why people like it. It's just... I don't know. It's not for me. I, I'm sorry, but it just isn't. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go and record more videos for hopefully at least three people to enjoy. Thank you everybody for watching this. I appreciate it a lot. I hope to see you next time and goodbye. Have a great life. Because one of us has to. I almost didn't mess it up and I remembered everything. <laughs>